The UK's debt bill is undermining its economic recovery in several ways. One of the main challenges is the high cost of servicing the debt, which has reached record levels due to rising inflation and borrowing. In June 2021, the government spent £8.7 billion on interest payments. More than three times as much as in June this means less money is available for public spending and investment, which could boost growth and create jobs. Another challenge is the uncertainty and instability caused by the large and growing debt burden, which exceeds the size of the economy for the first time since the government borrowed a record £55.2 billion in May 2020, nine times higher than in May 2019, to fund its emergency support measures for businesses and workers during the pandemic. The total government debt surged to £1.95 trillion, or 100.9% of GDP. By the end of May this makes the UK more vulnerable to external shocks and changes in market confidence, which could affect its ability to borrow at low interest rates in the future. The third challenge is the impact of the debt bill on businesses, especially small and medium-sized enterprises (SMEs), which are the backbone of the UK economy. Businesses are facing reduced demand, disrupted supply chains, increased costs and rising debt levels as they struggle to adapt to the new economic reality. Many businesses have relied on government-backed loans and grants to survive the lockdowns and restrictions, but these schemes are due to end soon. According to a survey by the British Chambers of Commerce, 42% of SMEs said they had taken on more debt during the pandemic, and 25% said they were concerned about their ability to repay it. The government has introduced some legislation to relieve the burden on businesses and support their recovery, such as the Corporate Insolvency and Governance Act 2020, which provides a new moratorium, a new restructuring plan and temporary easements for holding meetings and filing deadlines. However, these measures may not be enough to prevent a wave of insolvencies and job losses in the coming months. The government also faces a difficult trade-off between balancing its books and stimulating its economy, as it prepares for its next budget and spending review. In conclusion, the UK's debt bill is a serious obstacle to its economic recovery, as it imposes high costs, risks and pressures on both the public and private sectors. The government will need to find a sustainable and credible fiscal strategy that can restore confidence support growth and protect livelihoods in the post-pandemic era.